All right, so uh, you just launched uh, Sync XP this morning. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is? Sure. So Sync XP is our cloud-based um, solution for uh, four carriers um, to help them uh, plan and visualize um, uh, their networks um, for licensed shared access. Um, and it, what, so what's the future of shared spectrum? Are we going to see it prevalent? Yeah, absolutely. So um, certainly there's a lot of work to be done currently on the 3.5 gigahertz band to uh, grow the ecosystem um, and make it a commercial reality. And we see that happening within the next couple of years that um, we're really starting to see the, the ramp towards commercialization with um, considerable interest from across the industry with you know, carriers, with um, non-traditional providers of uh, services, even the over-the-top players. Um, also, the device and equipment ecosystem is starting to grow. Um, the three and a half gigahertz band is, while it's used on a shared basis or allocated on a shared basis in the U.S., it's actually licensed in other regions like in Asia and Europe um, for exclusive use. So the importance there is that there's already been a lot of um, technology development in the way of standards within 3GPP to create band classes for LTE use, um, devices, and network infrastructure. So a lot of the key components that are necessary to make this commercially viable, in addition to the Spectrum Access solution and our Sync XP platform, are already starting to come together. So I believe once that band is proven out, once we prove out the commercial viability of shared spectrum and three and a half gigahertz, um, this model will start to replicate itself in other bands. Um, it's already been mentioned in the FCC's new Spectrum Frontiers, um, the notice of proposed rulemaking that came out recently for bands at 24 gigahertz and above, that the use of a spectrum access system and shared spectrum would be one of the ways that they'll look at unlocking 5G, the future 5G spectrum. Um, and we see applications in VHF and UHF bands where use of spectrum is very situational and um, licensees of that spectrum could find ways to further unlock um, that spectrum, even for things like uh, the Internet of Things. Um, so we do believe that there's going to be lots of new opportunities. Um, potentially within the next five years, there could be as much of a gigahertz of new spectrum that uh, could be made available on a, on a shared basis. Um, so, you know, we're really pleased to be part of helping make this a reality. And uh, we work closely with others in the industry with standards bodies like the Wireless Innovation Forum to um, really help create this ecosystem of, of shared spectrum. That was great.